Time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. Mother's heart. Two more days, then I'll know what it's like in there. It's so many people crammed into one place. I guess no one ever gets lonely in there.
it. Let me see here. Would you not help me? You want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you.
such as only the taste of war. Let's do this. That must be a llama. Somebody, Sounds please! Like she's you for a minute? Thank you. I thought those watchers were gonna tear me apart. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. That spear must mean a lot to you. My mother made it not long before she died. I can't believe my father lost it. He didn't mean to. Scrappers are dangerous. I know. I just can't stand the idea that it might be gone forever. I'll look for your spear. You will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching for you, just south of Mother's Heart. Oh, no. Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again. This trail ends here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that spear. Mother's cradle.
might need that. The trail ends here. I'll let it cross the river. Better check the other side. again. I could use my focus to look around. Time to see Karst and get a tripcaster.
There. Time to get that spear. Made weapon. Arana will be happy to have it back. No one else 
around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting for me. There he is. Looks nervous. Well, well, well. An outcast on my doorstep. All mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. <laughs> Last time I visited, you had a trip caster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. got yourself a trip caster. Practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made a brave, you'll deal with traitors in mother's heart. Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. Will you be around later, in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving. I guess that concludes our business. All right. See you around. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate.
Saving these for the trail. Tough, but I'm used to it. Mother be praised. Aloy's back with the spear. Hmm. First you send Arana back to me, and now you've got the spear. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I'm glad you did. Me too. I can't believe you got the spear back. Your mother knew how to craft them. It's of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Thank you. It sounds like 
She was special. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, because of you, I still have the spear to remember her by. You didn't have to help us, but you did. She would have admired that. Thank you, Aloy, for everything. Whatever they're hunting out there doesn't sound easy. This lesson he wants to teach me, what could be so dangerous? Aloy, you're here. You have the firearms? I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace, is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark?
Look, Rost. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've put a lot of thought into this. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Until then, we wait. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlawed trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Well, perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Low and quiet does it. Meat. Well, they're still surprised.
When I think what it would have been like if I had lost the Rana, I... Thank you, Halo.
Can't be too prepared. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Braves hunt this machine. They did. The kills we've passed are theirs. Tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. Good. That'll keep my stomach quiet.
Good for an old remedy. An entire lodge? Wrecked? By... Sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something... It'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. 
I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. Smell the new day on the wind.
Sie so okay. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was, back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this. To remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you.
I have to let him go. For now. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? You know? Such a you know? Give them all. It's you, isn't it? As Over here. I remember what the thing is. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Sure.
You're gorgeous, you know. And you too. You're all gifts of the goddess. to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Get down Listen from there, carefully. now! Oh, that's so just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! Festival, suppose it's only fitting to part ways at another. From all mother. People Over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. All right, let's do this. happy to take your shards. Thank you. 
In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Oz. Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your life. fruit, nor... Oh. Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. Who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah. Yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Thank you. <clears throat> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. People of the Nora, on the eve of your proving, know the Karja stand with you as the Just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Ah. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait! No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but... you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. Right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too, so, uh, see you around, maybe?
all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. Mother, hear our prayer! What is a child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Remember that brave got drunk and danced naked around his fire last year? The Karja took my little sister in their age five years ago. All mother and I should be. Your blessing was most illuminating. I've never seen its like. A rare gift indeed. But you don't believe in all mother, do you? Usually, the, the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you, I see a beauty that shines true. Perhaps Naman is right after all, that the sun's light brightens all lands and all peoples. Who's Naman? One of my brethren, who believes the sky is wide enough for the faiths of all tribes. Why were the Karja at war with the Nora? Under the 13th Sun King, the Karja had no peace with any tribe. His luminance has sent those days to dusk. We must renew the light that binds us, though few volunteered to come here. The Nora scare you. They're good at making people feel unwelcome. It's said one soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But... <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. This has been illuminating, but I should get going. You have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path. I heard you ask for people these humans. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil, forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl! I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? 
Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> of course Bast is going to win. Aloy, now that the blessing has been made, you and I finally have a moment to speak. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you, given your circumstances. I can't say it was comfortable, but I could see the beauty of the ritual, even so. It takes a generous heart, Aloy, to commend a ritual that venerates all that you were denied. All I'm saying is that it didn't bother me. I have bigger things to worry about than hearing the Nora mumble about their mothers. I see. I imagine you must have questions for me then. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the proving. It's not like the Nora to be so... hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right, as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think, rather, it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13, who killed his mother. But at the Proving five years later, he did not appear. No. I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy. But the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us, if only in spirit. That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers. Real ones. And when I win the Proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy, but Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? Rost told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach, offer counsel, give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count three High Matriarchs, and some thirty Lesser Matriarchs. 
What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. But a high matriarch is a great-grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Thus do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight. The high matriarchs most of all. So, the more children you have, the more authority you get? I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? Why does Lanzara hate me so much? She is a woman of extreme opinions. More than that, I cannot say. It's not my fault that I was born, or that the matriarchs decided to cast me out. I side with you in this matter, but there are differences of opinion, and any vote of the high matriarchs requires a majority. I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just... I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. That blessing wasn't bad. Nice and short, anyway. But I know a half dozen Asaram tinkers who could put on a better fireworks show. Oops. I hope I'm not throwing a wet blanket on your sacred ritual. It was nice. Really. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. Or take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? 
and no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunt, so it was harder than... Like, yeah. so... Uh, no. I want to ask you... Ask away. Yeah, well, good luck. Much better music. 